Welcome back to another edition of Vikings Film Room, brought to you by the Vikings Entertainment Network. I'm your host, Pete Bursich. Well, with the second pick of the third round, the Minnesota Vikings selected Kellen Mond, quarterback out of Texas A&M. They were able to do so by trading down in the first round, amassing some picks, still getting Derrissaw, and now you're able to pick up your backup quarterback. Now, Kellen Mond, a four-year starter at Texas A&M, over 11,000 combined yards, 93 touchdowns. Let's take a look at the film and see what Kellen Mond needs to work on, what he's already very, very good at, and how long will it take him to be the starter with the Minnesota Vikings? And the first thing you're gonna notice with Kellen Mond is he's in the pistol, right? And this is a pistol type of RPO style of offense. So as soon as he takes the snap, he's gonna fake the handoff and then really just set his feet. That is something that he's gonna have to change. We don't really run the RPO in the NFL, so footwork, the drops, being under center. What I love here is the arm strength. The running back is running the swing route and then he's getting the slant. You see that that swing route's drawn out the flat defender. Off his back foot, able to get this thing, delivers it a little bit to the back shoulder, but that's good with pressure in his face. So what you're seeing is his style, right? His style is his ability to throw some of these underneath routes. Again, shotgun, takes a snap, just sets his feet. You're gonna see two slants by the receivers on the outside. You wanna hit that dig in behind it. And he's able to throw that thing in there just as the safety is jumping in there. So he's able to thread that needle. He has accuracy between the hash marks, which is really, really good, especially with a tight end oriented style of offense. This play, I think, stands out because you look, he gets the snap, you look at the top of the film, top of the screen he's throwing this back shoulder fade to this wide receiver now this play is incomplete but if you freeze it if that's a Justin Jefferson this is caught for a touchdown if that's an Adam Thielen this is caught for a touchdown I think this young man minus his tight end and so for you draft rubes out there this tight end for Texas A&M is pretty good he was hamstrung a little bit by his wide receiver so I don't think he had a lot of talent on the outside to throw to again against Alabama three-man front they're gonna blitz on this play so you're seeing six guys from Alabama blitz, get inside, and you see right where the right where the referee is standing, there's a wide open area. And this the tight end, wide receiver able to come in underneath, right on that hash mark, throws that ball right on the money. So another great throw under pressure, right down the middle of the field. And you're gonna get a good shot of this from the end zone with everybody in his face. He's tall, six foot three. He can see across the middle of the field, delivers that thing right where the tight end needs to be. So this is a great response to a blitz. I really like what I see out of that. One of the things you're gonna have to learn as a young quarterback, right here, RPO fakes the run, you freeze it at the stop, you'll see the wide receiver in his break. He just needs to throw this ball a little bit more quickly. Now this ball ends up being an interception and a pick six. However, if that receiver runs that route a little more sharply, meaning not so much to the end zone, but right down, that uh, you know, 45 yard line, and that ball gets out there just a little bit more quickly, that's a completion and that's a great play by the quarterback. So it's just a little bit of timing. Those are the things that he's gonna have to work on. Again, Alabama bringing the pressure, bringing the heat up the middle, stands in there tough, lets everything happen in front of him, tight end gets a little separation, bam, right there on that hash mark, throws the ball, puts it right where it needs to be. So he's able to stand tall under pressure, He's able to survey the field, answer the blitz, and he has that arm strength and accuracy, I think, in the middle of the field. Okay, this is a great example of an NF style route. What you're gonna see is you're gonna see what they call a drive and a dig. You're gonna see the tight end run a crossing route in the middle of the field, and the receiver behind him is gonna run another in route right behind him. So the tight end vacates the middle of that field, he steps up, throws a great in route, gets it in there before the safety's able to come down. So another great throw and catch. But that style, that underneath shallow, the dig in behind it, that's an NF style route. We know that Kellen Mond can move. And in this case, he's going to use his legs to extend this play. Now, I don't think he's necessarily a scrambler, but he's fast enough and athletic enough to scramble, extend plays, and then make great throws. And you're going to see from the end zone, he really has a free rusher. He scrambles, he keeps his hands up though. He doesn't drop his hands to start the run. He keeps his hands up 
able to throw a great ball on the run, kind of a 50-50 throw to his tight end, makes the reception. So I think his athleticism and his size bode well for him sitting in the pocket, him and able to be able to scramble and extend plays. On this one, you're gonna see another type of NFL style of route, what we call the Zampezi. You see the tight end runs that post to the middle, clears out the underneath route, occupies the safety, delivers that thing right in between traffic. Great strong arm throws across the middle of the field. I love the way this guy, under pressure, can hold in the pocket, accuracy down the middle of the field. This is another great example of an NFL style route. You'll see the two receivers in the bottom of the screen. They're gonna run what they call a switch route, which is really kind of a zigzag. The inside receiver gets up the field, runs the out route. The inside receiver runs the post in the corner. He's too occupied with the out route. Kellen sees him wide open, gets the ball to him in the middle of the field. Now this is really, a great route. It's an NF style route, right? The switch route. Just a great throw down the middle of the field. The guy's wide open. I love it. Able to read. Again, we see a lot of his big throws coming to the middle of the field. All right, another example of Alabama showing pressure. He knows the middle of the field is vacated. Again, you see where that referee is standing right there in that hash mark. Tight end shuffles his feet, runs a dig right down the middle of the field, hits him in stride. Another great play, another great example against this Alabama defense of him standing tall in the pocket. You see the end zone. I love this look from the end zone because you're seeing exactly what he sees. Pressure, gets hit right as he throws, but he throws that football right on the money, right in stride, right to his tight end. So these are the kinds of plays that I really love and they show me that he's gonna be able to produce and do some NFL style routes, do those things early. All right, in this play, empty set. You'll see the two receivers at the bottom of your screen. This is another NFL style of route where the outside receiver kind of runs a smash, a little short route to occupy the corner. And as soon as that separation happens, Kellen, nice fade. You hear a little bit about the lack of touch, maybe the lack of accuracy. I didn't quite see that on those style of plays. Definitely NFL style of route and put in a spot where the receiver can catch that touchdown. All right, and finally, this play, we remember the out route that was intercepted earlier, but in this play, you're gonna get a blitz by the defense. And this is what you're looking for, this great strong arm throw. He's on the hash mark at the 30 yard line, and he's able to throw this out route all the way across the field, hit that receiver in stride, an accurate throw. So he's able to catch that ball and still turn it up and gain yardage. This is an NF style, NFL style throw. This is the kind of throw that not even the NFL quarterbacks do well. That strong armed out route way across the field, something we see Cousins do all the time. He's able to do this thing here. I think if he can continue to do this, get the footwork down, able to still pick apart teams in the middle of the field and the hash marks, Kellen Mond is going to be a good quarterback.